Uh, hello, our weekly updates about AI. Again, exciting week, a lot of news. And uh, the main event, of course, is the uh, release of Grok 2. So previously we had Grok uh, 1.5, which was about 300 something billion parameters. And this is from Twitter, from Elon Musk. Well, now it's called X. And the new model Grok 2 and Grok 2 Mini um, released at uh, X Premium. So uh, you need to be a paid subscriber to be able to use them. Uh, this was really interesting because before officially releasing it, they released it on LMC's leaderboard, but on a different name. It was called SAS Column R. And people tested it and the model behaves really, really well. It's really good at logic reasoning. And uh, people suspected maybe it's GPT-5, maybe it's something. <laughs> and then uh, finally, when um, they uh, released uh, the model, so th this is the x.ai blog. So, so you can go there and it, it talks about the model, uh, its uh, parameters on uh, chatbot arena and that it was called SAS column R. So, so yeah, this is definitely a winner. So you can see Grok 1.5, Grok 2 Mini and Grok 2, how they compare with all the top models, including GPT-4 Turbo, Claude 3 Opus, Google Gemini Pro 1.5, Llama 3 405 billion parameters, which is the largest open source model, GPT 4.0 and Claude 3.5 Sonnet. So you see it's right uh, in, in the pack and uh, closer to the top. So it behaves very, very well. It's a big win for X, uh, for uh, Elon Musk. But a uh, really scandalous part is that they make, made it uh, multimodal. Oh, by the way, they made it also a long context. It's now 128K. E everybody now has 128K or more. And now um, they incorporated very good image generator. So they're actually using a uh, Flux uh, point 0.1, which is an, a new model, uh, which is open source. And uh, it is outperforming Stable Diffusion, Midjourney, and uh, DALI 3. And because it's with Grok, it's completely uncensored. So if you look, for example, let, let me go here. It's uh, Grok 2 deepfake, and you just switch to images. So here you see generated images like Elon Musk and uh, whatever. <laughs> yeah, the, 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 this is absolutely hilarious what it can generate. So let me go uncensored images again. And, and, and you can search for whatever you like. Yeah, this is this image uh, like of uh, Trump with some, like, I don't know what, what they're called. Uh, and <laughs> yeah, this, uh, whatever. So yeah, the, oh, oh gosh, why are they doing this? Um, anyway, um, so let me get out of these images. Uh, so this is a new uh, exciting models. I don't know how many parameters it has. Is it bigger? Like uh, there, there is no technical details. It's only available for users uh, at uh, X. Like so, you, you can just work with it, but uh, you cannot download and run it yourself. Okay, um, LLM aided OCR. Th th this is uh, really interesting. Uh, you know, optical character recognition uh, was improving over the years, but now they added. AR to make it almost perfect. So this is this is a good uh, GitHub repository which explains how it works. Uh, OpenAI uh, was founded in 2015, and these are original founders, and almost everybody has left. So the color one, these are people who are still there or partially where. So Greg Brockman is still there, but he left on a long sabbatical. Well, similar thing happened to Ilya Zutskever and then he left. So we don't know. Um, this uh, Zaremba person is still at OpenAI and of course, Sam Altman, uh, who is a CEO. Okay, um, how to choose LLM for agents. Uh, we spoke about agents, that agents uh, have a cycle inside. So they do some work, then they evaluate the result, and then they can iteratively do something, and eventually they make a decision 
to maybe stop and pass the result to maybe another agent. So they need decision making. And for decision making, you need a really good uh, model which can reason. And uh, uh, so spend money, take the best ones. The best uh, Anthropic Sonnet 3.5 and uh, OpenAI GPT 4.0. Uh, so, yeah, they are not the cheapest one, but when you need to make decisions, that's what you go for. But there are other functionality which agents can use, and for that, you can use uh, much cheaper models. Uh, for example, you can use uh, Google Gemini 1.5, which uh, recently became much cheaper, like 70 plus percent cheaper. So, you see the, the prices com compare with this uh, Anthropic and OpenAI. So, it's it's really like three dollars and here it is uh, seven cents right <laughs> and so on so it's, it's uh, really really cheaper and it has long context uh, open air gpt4 or mini is very fast and really good and you can use local models as well but only for technical targeted specific tasks not for thinking not for reasoning because they all tend to hallucinate Okay, uh, next, uh, AI image generators. So this link discusses the best generators. I just added Flux.1, uh, which Grok is using. Uh, so Leonardo, Midjourney, Ideogram, DALI3. Uh, this is from OpenAI. Uh, Google, ImageFX. Uh, Google actually came up with a new one, which I'll talk a bit later. Adobe Firefly, Night Cafe. Okay, Sakana.ai, they created AI scientists to automate scientific discoveries. So this is the uh, article and this is uh, on the, their website. Okay, new coding model Genie. There was a lot of talk about it because, uh, well, it uh, gets the highest score in the world on the SWE bench, which is specifically designed for evaluating coding uh, models and th 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 this is this is the graph maybe i can make it bigger so uh, you can see that this is cosine genie it, it really head and shoulders above all other coding models okay uh fly r raised uh, uh, almost 300 million dollars so this is a travel industry so this is a reser reservation systems using ai algorithms uh, figure two humanoid robot uh, well they upgraded it uh, recently and it's really interesting it has six video cameras so it has uh, 360 degrees uh, view of everything around it has 20 hour battery it is kind of like human. It has average height and average weight for a human. Uh, can lift 44 pounds, powered by OpenAI. And this is just one of uh, humanoid robots. And there are about 30 uh, humanoid robots in different countries, including China. China is very big on that. The prices are somewhere between 10,000 and 50,000 per robot. So we will see a lot of robots being sold like cars and everybody will have a robot or two or three or ten and it's <laughs> expected that we'll have billions of robots uh, by 2040 well maybe faster we'll see okay uh, next uh, anthropic cloud artifacts so I played with it. I have a paid subscription to Anthropic and it's really, really neat because I can take the text and I want it to convert the text into some sort of diagram. And this is the diagram it creates. And this is the code. You see there is a preview and the code and I can switch between them. So in this case, uh, I ask it to create a diagram using mermaid uh, diagramming. It is a, a, a simple JavaScript based tool so you can have some description of the diagram and it converts it into a visual of the diagram. So you can look at this diagram and then tell Claude, well, change it in this way and that way. And boom, boom, you go interactively back and forth. Uh, well, it's a lot of fun. Uh, next is uh, working with PDF documents. Uh, you know that LangChain, uh, has uh, a lot of tooling and one of them is uh, to load uh, PDFs and I looked in their code and they're using two libraries. They're using either PyMoPDF or PyPDF2 
uh, where the first one is by far the most commonly used and it's a default and it's a very interesting library so it is a pie wrapper around uh, mu pdf and mu pdf it's all started 20 something years ago so in 2002 uh, tor anderson started working on this library and so here here is a description here are some people involved i couldn't find harold leader who was the main maintainer of uh, the pi uh, mu pdf uh, i found several people i'm not sure which one so i put just the pi mu pdf uh, image for him uh, also it was uh, called fits so you would see in your python code uh, uh, import uh, fits and uh, so it's the same thing pi mu pdf and fits and if you need to read the pdf file and extract it into text. Uh, it is just one line of code using this fits library. So you don't need Langchain uh, to do that. What I like about Langchain that they compiled all the tools together, but what I don't like about them that they're constantly changing their documentation and API. And I find it easier just to take the, the tool itself and just use it. So here is the Wikipedia article about uh, Mu PDF and uh, how you can uh, download and install and, and, and use this module. Anyway, uh, LLM aided, uh, hold on, where, where I am? I, I lost my way. Okay, here, uh, TTT, uh, test time training. So this replaces attention mechanism in transformers. Uh, re remember that attention mechanism, it's uh, attention matrices. Um, they add square, like uh, um, big O of N square. Right, so it's a square complexity, so they slow down. So people try to find solution to this complexity. And um, one a new solution is called TTT. And what they're doing, they substituting those matrices by models. And the models may be as simple as linear model, or it may be a multi-level perceptron, which is fully connected neural network, whatever. But what's interesting, uh, they achieve linear complexity, so they avoid quadratic complexity. They have better performance than MAMBA, which is another way to remove the squared complexity. And they have competitive performance with transformers. So this is very promising new direction. So this is the video, the article, and the GitHub for this project. Okay, uh, Zico uh, Colt, Colter, th this is him. So he is professor of Carnegie Mellon and uh, he joined OpenAI board of directors uh, for uh, safety and security committee. So this is, I guess, very valuable ad addition to the board. Now, AI powered hearing aid. This is great because it gives 53 times boost in speech understanding. So you have a regular hearing aid and you add AI and suddenly people can understand much better. I mean, really much better. So this, this is great. Now this article, Extract Thinker, I already showed it to multiple people because uh, this is um, very interesting. Let, let, let me actually show you what, what they're doing. So they are processing thousands of resumes of CVs, curriculum vitae, and they do it using local model and local models are cheap, but they are not high quality. So um, what they're doing here, uh, they are asking multiple questions. They don't ask to extract all information from a resume at once, but they uh, ask multiple questions like, what is the first and last name? What is the age? What is email address? What is phone? And so more, more, more questions. So you, as a result, making multiple calls to large language model, you collect information, you extract information from the resume and you do the same, you extract information from the description of the job, which is here, role contract, and then you, you match them uh, to each other. Why, why it is useful, uh, this thinking, because large language models tend to hallucinate. If you ask them to extract too much information, uh, it will start hallucinating. So it's better to ask very targeted specific question, one entity at a time. Uh, this gives you some hope. Uh, okay, golden retriever. <laughs> so this is a picture. So this is a high fidelity uh, agentic rag. 
and the idea is you don't try to just take the text and match it with your vector database. So first you try to understand what the text is about, right? And uh, so you do multiple calls to LLM. Uh, one uh, things you can do, you, you can improve your understanding of this text, uh, maybe uh, jargon. So identifies the jargon, clarifies the meaning and so on. So th this is a good publication, so article and Twitter post. Uh, so it uh, makes it much better rug by using all these techniques. Um, a little bit more complex, but much better quality. So I, I think it, it's a good way to go. Okay, uh, Gemini Live. Um, Gemini uh, released uh, their um, talking app on their phone. They already had it before, the, but they improved it. And you can talk to it uh, completely hands-free. Uh, you can interrupt, uh, like it's a live conversation. Before, like I was using it, uh, but you would talk to it and then you, uh, it converts uh, you, your speech into text. You look at the text, then you press the button to submit. But now it's just a live conversation, like uh, really exciting. So they released it for advanced users like me and for Android, but in a few weeks they promised to also have it uh, for iPhone. Now, Google has released uh, Imagen 3, which uh, I mentioned before. So this is a new uh, version of the image generation uh, model. Uh, okay, next, uh, prompt report. This is 76 pages of uh, prompting techniques. So this is an article on archive. Uh, next is uh, crowdsourced arena. Uh, this is from the 12, four days ago and it was not updated uh, since then but you see it changes all the time so for two weeks we had uh, google on top right but now we have a gpt for all on top so so it, it, it's changed again so gpt for all meta llama 405 and this is by the way for english queries only and meta llama both 405 and 70b uh, quite quite high, but there's a mortal battle for the top position. <laughs> okay, and uh, this is uh, for coding and for coding, Claude Sonnet was uh, on the top spot for a long time, but now again we have GPT for O. So OpenAI changed something in GPT for O. They don't say what they did, but you see that it is on the first place both in the coding and in the re regular English queries. So, yeah, interesting. They, const they constantly keep updating uh, the their models. Now, tech layoffs, uh, about the same as was uh, last week. So you see there are red is number of employees laid off, and it's mostly because of two companies, Intel and Dell. They uh, fired uh, a lot of people. And uh, yeah, th this caused this. If, if you compare with the previous year, generally previous year were more layoff. Well, except for this uh, point in August this year. Okay, so this is me and thank you.